Once upon a time, nestled in a tranquil village embraced by misty mountains, there lived a Buddhist monk renowned for his infectious laughter. His name was Master Cheng, but the villagers affectionately called him the Laughing Buddha. Master Cheng was not just known for his jovial demeanor. He was also revered for his wisdom and compassion. Every day, he would stroll through the village, spreading joy with his laughter and offering guidance to those in need. One crisp morning, as Master Chang meandered through the cobblestone streets, his ears caught the sound of muffled sobbing. Intrigued, he followed the sound until he stumbled upon a young boy sitting by the riverbank, tears streaming down his cheeks. Approaching the boy with a gentle smile, Master Cheng sat beside him and asked, What troubles you, my child? Startled by the monk's presence, the boy wiped away his tears and murmured, I am alone, venerable sir. My parents passed away, and I have no one to care for me. Master Cheng's heart swelled with empathy as he listened to the boy's tale of loss and loneliness. Without hesitation, he extended a comforting hand and said, You are not alone, young one. From this day forth, consider me your family. Overjoyed by the monk's kindness, the boy's tears transformed into a radiant smile. From that moment on, he became Master Cheng's constant companion, following him on his daily rounds and soaking in the wisdom of his teachings. As they journeyed together, Master Cheng imparted invaluable lessons to the young boy, teaching him the importance of kindness, humility, and forgiveness. With each passing day, the bond between them grew stronger, like the unbreakable thread that connects the lotus to its roots. One evening, as they sat beneath the shade of an ancient banyan tree, the boy gazed up at Master Cheng with curious eyes and asked, Venerable sir, why do you laugh so much? Is it because you have no sorrow? Master Cheng chuckled softly and replied, My dear child, I laugh not because I am free from sorrow, but because I have learned to embrace it with an open heart. Life is a tapestry woven with threads of joy and sorrow, and it is our choice whether to dwell on the darkness or bask in the light. The boy pondered Master Cheng's words, feeling a newfound sense of understanding dawn within him. From that day forward, he too began to see the world through the lens of laughter, finding solace in the simple joys that surrounded him. Years passed, and the boy blossomed into a young man under Master Cheng's guidance, embodying the teachings of compassion and wisdom passed down to him. Together, they continued to spread love and laughter wherever they went, touching the hearts of all who crossed their path. One fateful day, as they journeyed through the village, Master Cheng suddenly fell gravely ill, his laughter silenced by the grip of sickness. The young man watched helplessly as his beloved mentor lay on his deathbed, his once vibrant spirit fading like a flickering flame. With tears streaming down his cheeks, the young man knelt beside Master Cheng's bedside, grasping his frail hand in his own. Do not despair, my dear friend, whispered Master Cheng his voice barely a whisper. For in laughter, we find strength, and in love, we find eternal peace. And with those final words of wisdom, Master Cheng closed his eyes and surrendered to the embrace of the universe, leaving behind a legacy of laughter and love that would echo through the ages. Though Master Cheng's physical form had departed, his spirit lived on in the hearts of all who had been touched by his laughter and wisdom. And as the young man gazed up at the heavens, a knowing smile graced his lips, for he understood that true enlightenment lay not in the absence of sorrow, but in the joy of embracing life's ever-changing dance. And so, the tale of the laughing Buddha lives on, a timeless reminder that even in the darkest of times, laughter has the power to illuminate the path towards inner peace and eternal happiness. This is God of Motive. Thanks for watching and stay focused.